parts I ordered from the group I have arrived and well this does look a little low in count to me but let's see maybe he put everything in here or something like that I don't know but yeah from what it looks like we have the V0 frame kit and three motors and the rails here I'm also supposed to have the uh, Teflon lead screw and the multi-jet fusion parts for Galileo but uh, well again we'll see I haven't opened this these yet so yeah let's begin with the frame kit well, this is already open maybe customs people did it I'm not gonna say anything okay uh, yeah the red frames actually let's take a closer look at the color so uh, as i mentioned before this is the color scheme for my Boron zero build and well gotta say the probably anodization on this it's not it doesn't feel like paint it looks really nice and well hopefully it will look good as well we'll see I haven't decided on the printed parts colors yet but uh, yeah that is to come and well three more here for the bed nothing, in, nothing else in there and, uh, Few of these extrusions so the lead screw is in, in there so I don't know I'll check the packaging one more time just to be sure uh, anyway uh, here are the MGN 7 rails from LDU I am actually really interested in uh, the quality of these as I explained in the earlier video I haven't had the best luck with the uh, Robotic MGN 9s or the Chinese MGN 12s. So, yeah, I'm curious about these. Okay, here is one of them. Slides pretty smoothly. But let's see if it is consistent in my robotics ones. Some of them were good, others weren't so good. So I want to see all of them. Yeah, they, all of them feel pretty much the same. So unless I'm really lucky this time, LDO. Uh, finally managed to make a linear rail that I like again uh, I will test these obviously I'm not just quickly going to jump to the conclusion but in the long run if these hold up well I'll probably switch my uh, robotic rails on my Boron 2.4 to these as well because well as I said those robotic ones aren't that great and I'm not going to pay for genuine high winds so this feels like a nice middle ground anyway moving on to these boxes here we have a cute NEMA 14 Another cute Nemo 14. One is pancake, so I don't know what they are for just yet. But uh, one of them uh, is for the extruder, would be my guess. Interesting. Looks like uh, he packed uh, Galileo stuff in here, so I'll just jump to that first. Uh, these are the parts for the Galileo extruder. Uh, let me grab a flashlight so I can show this better. So these are multi-jet fusion printed 
the gears for the Galileo extruder and also the multi-jet fusion printed shaft I assuming the, <coughs> I'm assuming the motor is in the other box but uh, the print quality on these look really nice so yeah we'll see I heard good things about the Galileo extruder so I'm really curious to test it out but obviously uh, I first need to get the 2.4 working but uh, yeah that is definitely coming and moving moving back to the motor in here we have another one of those large NEMA 14s so uh, probably one of them is for A one of them is for B And here is the motor for Galileo. Again, looks pretty nice. We'll test this. Not much I can say right now. And one more of these big motors, so it's for Z. And this pancake is for the extruder as I thought. Nothing else in this box either, so I'll check the packages one last time. But I think I'm missing the Teflon coated lead screw. But, uh, anyway, at least the pouch kit will come with a lead screw, so we can use that one. Uh, I also want to show you some of the parts that I already have. So, uh, actually, before I get to that, I forgot. Uh, I don't know what exactly happened there, but the video seems to be missing while I'm editing this, so I'm uh, shooting this again. I was showing you this uh, bed from Mandela Roseworks. It has 550 degrees rated neodymium magnets. And well, you can see the other side here as well. I inserted some grub screws in these little holes, and those are supposed to make lining the uh, energetic magnetic sheet easier. Uh, maybe I should have set the tripod anyway you get that yeah I hope and uh, yeah it looks pretty nice it is uh, nicely machined and the finish on it looks pretty nice and well, according to them this is also a mic 6 tooling plate so it should not warp as well so yeah it should be good it is a little expensive I think this thing was $65 versus like it would have cost me less than five dollars to buy a same size aluminium uh, plate in turkey less than five bucks most likely so uh, yeah this definitely is a premium option but yeah it looks nice and it will work just fine also that means that i don't have to use the glorified fridge magnet that energetic sense well actually i don't want to shit on this too much uh, it worked just fine on my v2 so uh, yeah but i just know that uh, people had bad bad experiences with this and i also know that this adhesive isn't uh, that well suited for the application which means they're using whatever they can get uh, but uh, yeah as i said my experience with the magnet hasn't been bad i should probably note that also an energetic sand has spare sheet of pi which is also nice and another nice thing I didn't ask for this, they just did it. My bed is, has a Voron logo on it, which also looks pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, they don't know I'm a, I make YouTube videos or anything like that. They didn't even know that, at least I never mentioned to them that I have a Voron. So, yeah, they just probably figured it out somehow that I have a Voron and sent this as a gift. So, uh, yeah, if you order your v, V0 bed from them, Chances are you will get it uh, with the Voron logo and a spare PI sheet. And well, yeah, back to the rest of the video. Actually, there is another part missing, so we're back to me in the future or in the past, but in the future. Don't worry. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I ha I'm going to use uh, Dwight Wi-Fi to control the 3D printer. So yeah, here we have it. I have this since the Tevo Black Widow days on the channel, so I think this is two or three years old, something like that. And well, 
one thing that I find ridiculous about this setup is well, this is the uh, build plate, so let's see. <laughs> the controller is ne nearly larger than the uh, build plate itself, or if you just look at it at one axis, it is wider than the build plate, so yeah. I know it's a little ridiculous, but uh, who cares? It should it should do the job, and well, I might as well use this Duet Wi-Fi for something. So yeah, I'm going for it. And well, I, same could same argument could be made with the power supply as well. This is a hundred watt twenty four volt power supply that I will use. But just to make things a li little more ridiculous, I'm going to use a tiny Raspberry Pi with this because why not? So, uh, yeah, you can't normally run uh, Octoprint on this, but it is strong enough for, well, powerful enough for Clipper. So, uh, yeah, I will run Clipper on this and I will use main sail, which is like a, a, a interface for uh, Clipper, uses Moonraker API for Clipper. And, well, it uh, basically looks like Duet web interface, even though it's built on a different uh, it uh, looks very similar because of the uh, JavaScripting they use and uh, yeah that's how I will set it up so I want to use Octoprint with this and uh, well I might change that in the future but I want to test it and actually I don't have a Raspberry Pi 3 laying around but I have two Pi Zeros so yeah that's basically the main motivation so what I'm going to do is design something that goes uh, above these mounting holes and just rises a little so I can mount this above the uh, the white Wi-Fi just to save some space and I will have to run this micro to micro somehow I guess I'll have to make a custom cable or something like that and uh, yeah that's how this is going to work I also uh, want to have a Raspberry Pi camera. I really must be blind. Uh, I also want to use this Raspberry Pi camera again from the Black Widow days, and that is if I can figure out a way, a uh, place to mount this. This is smaller than the uh, webcam, which is why I'm using this because well, there isn't much space on a V0 build. But uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I can find a good place to mount this. But I will try, and well, if I can, it will be nice because, well, as you know, there are many advantages of having a webcam more than just recording time lapses. So, uh, yeah, I'll try that. That's not for sure, but the rest is the plan. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, I guess there's like a few minutes of the old video that left now. So, let's go back to that. And uh, yeah, the lead screw is definitely missing. Otherwise, uh, I can use the uh, pouch one at least, so it won't delay the build of this. I am waiting for a few more packages still, but uh, they're all in the country, just just the customs. So this should be here by next week. And as soon as I get my 2.4 working, I'll get I'll start printing parts for this as well. So. Uh, yeah, the video is coming pretty soon and probably a few weeks at the most and I don't expect the build of this to take that long so uh, yeah it should be done in one or two episodes probably again I'm not going to promise anything but that's just a guess but uh, well yeah that's it for this video I hope you like this look at the parts i know i didn't do much other than well unboxing which i normally you know i don't even watch any of those channels but i think we have some pretty interesting stuff in here so i think this still was worth making a video about so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and well uh, yeah i don't have anything else to say so if you enjoyed it please give me a like down below and thanks for watching